Yo. Yo. Check it. Check it. Yo. 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 Check it. Check it. Check. 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 It is. Monday, January 31st, 2022, baby. Check, check, yo, yo. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well, man. Where you at, fam? Where you at, gang? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's safe and sound wherever you are in and around this beautiful world, aka the blue marble. We're just floating up in the sky, man. It's crazy stuff out there. What's happening with y'all? Hope everybody had a great weekend. What have you been up to? Did you have fun with the fam? Did you have fun with the crew? Did you go out? Did you stay in? What did you do? What's going on outside? So much is happening outside. So much is happening inside, inside here, inside here, outside there, everywhere, man. It is, it's gonna be a mixed bag today. I don't know where it's gonna go down. I don't know how it's gonna go down. Not that I ever do. It's just a little bit. Of, you can only prep so much and then the rest of it is just, you know, you gotta sometimes let the Lord take the wheel and see where it leads us. But nonetheless, man, I'm trying to, you know, just uh, as much as I can, again, take that with a grain of salt, uh, live my life to the fullest, enjoy the little things in life that as much as I can. And just wanna straight out the gate, come out and say, you know, if you're a long time listener and viewer, you know your boy, thank you very much for the love and support. If you're a newbie, I talk about everything and nothing, share my emotions, feelings, thoughts on personal issues, societal issues, try to, you know, sprinkle a little bit of the jokes in there every once in a while if I can squeeze in a couple, if I may, please and thank you. And then we try to make sense of it all together. I never, that's the thing, man, your boy's just, what's the word I'm looking for? No particular word comes to mind, but, uh, you know, I don't claim, I'm, you know, just, it is what it is, dude. I'm a dum dumb. I don't know anything. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm slow. I'm super slow. I'm that turtle, baby. Just trying to chug along as fast as I can. But, you know, going at the rate of a turtle. Very slow. And it's so hard to just make sense of it all these days. But that's the thing. We got each other. You and I have got each other. Thank you for the love and support. Let's go through. We're going to go through a bunch of stuff today. As always, they're going to be somewhat connected, interrelated, intertwined and our mangling, we'll see where it takes us. And I'm just trying to unpack life with you guys, trying to make sense of it. There's so much going on, man. It can be overwhelming. You got every right to feel overwhelmed. You've got every right to feel all sorts of emotions. You want to feel happy for a minute, do it up. You want to get down for a second, baby, get down like James Brown, daddy. Do it, my maze out there. Whatever it is, you want to just be, you want to be level. You, you don't want to feel nothing. You don't want to feel happy. You don't want to feel sad. You just want to be right there in the center with you 100%, dudes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a roller coaster of a ride, this life, but it's exciting every day. We're shifting left, right, up, down, north, south, east, west, going in all directions, man. And, you know, most people, most peepsies, myself included, you just want to, you want to mind your business, you want to do your thing, you want to have a little bit of fun, you want to be safe and secure, you want to go out there and explore, you're that, you know, because uh, every day is a new chapter and every day, I'm, I'm very grateful, let's just, before we get into it, get out, I'm very grateful, just want to remind everybody, if you're alive and breathing today, it's, it's your day today, it's your day today to make it a better day, make it a better day than yesterday and the, the day before and sometimes you know it might not be the best day today but then tomorrow guess what brand new day brand new chapter beginnings to beginnings to us cheers you know trying to make sense of it all been hearing a lot of things been sitting on a lot of things been thinking about a lot of things been writing about a lot of things been quite and that's the thing when it comes to i'm just one guy i'm just a dude doing the, you know, trying to do the storytelling game, baby. And I'm very new at it, but at the same rate, I want everybody to always remember, make your own decisions. You be the judge, the gavel, the jury, you be that, you be everything. You make your own decisions based on whatever information you consume, whether it's through this channel, thank you very much, or any other means of media that you happen to consume on a daily or a weekly. Where can you find this fine medium? You can find it here on the Instagrams, on the YouTubes, on the Patreons every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're, we're a business. We're, we're growing. 
it's a small business. It's we're it's not even a business at this point. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing, but it's everything all in one. Bringing you promises, bringing you goods, services, values of all sorts of different kinds. We've got assortments. We've got little services. We've got big services. We've got you're into the no service. We've got the no service service for you, baby. So go ahead and. Uh, do whatever you like. Go ahead and do whatever you like. That's the core message of this. Uh, but a few underlying core messages. Unless it's always good to review because it's easy to with everything. You got to remember the basic foundations. What are the core values that we hold dear and near in our hearts here at Glad You Made It? Um, love. Love. That's one of the basic ones. Love. I uh, love and, you know, having having a little bit of laughter in our lives, if we can, if we may together, and just trying to be, trying to understand each other. That's, that's all there is to it. We're not trying to, nobody's trying to, you know, I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't ever, you know, I don't ever want that to be, I don't think there's any misconception, but these days it's so, and we'll get into it. We'll get down, the, we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty if we can, as much as we can, man. It's, uh, why am I saying all this? Because I am a, some might say I'm a shapeshifter. But then again, aren't we all to a certain degree? We're all shape shifting. Now every day we're shedding old skin, regenerating new skin, trying to, you know, empty out the cup so you can fill it back up with newer stuff. Cause sometimes your cup, you know, you, there's that backwash, baby. You gotta just rinse it out, get a new, rinse, dump out the whole cup if you have to, and then wash it and then refill it up again with whatever liquids you happen to like. Ooh, it's a smoothie for today. It's a Jumba juice. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, it's important that we all remember that we're all constantly learning and growing and that nobody has, there's no one perfect answer for anything. There's no one solution for anything. It takes all of us smashing our brains together. Just smashing head, dude. Smashing head, ladies. Forming ideas. Getting rid of good ones. Getting rid of bad ones. Did I say getting rid of good ones, getting rid of bad ones? Because I meant to say incorporating good ones, getting rid of bad ones. Sometimes that's the thing. That's exactly the point. Sometimes you want to be you want to be careful not to throw out the good ones with the bad ones either. But it's it's tricky business. It is tricky business, and well, it all impacts us in different ways. And we've all been impacted during the past two years by this whole new thing that's. Uh, just been at the forefront of our lives, everybody. In, in one way, shape, or form, you're dealing with it, whether directly or indirectly. I'm talking about the Schmovit, of course. So what do I wanna to talk to you all about today? What have I been thinking about over the past couple of weeks, maybe week, week and a half-ish? And then it's now two different topics, but somewhat related, I guess. Let's start off with the first one that's been on my mind, I've kept it. Cause I had to, you know, some things are a little bit, I don't want to jump on something and then talk about it too soon. I don't want to sometimes not talk about certain, I try to, you know, talk about what's important in my opinion, at least, I don't know. One of the things that popped up in the previous, I guess, uh, you know, news cycles, uh, something that's been, you know, you, you read headlines, you hear and see videos and whatnot. Talking about a little bit of that censorship, that censorship, man, on, uh, I believe it was a couple of, first, if I'm not mistaken, uh, again, I, I took my time, I wanted to reflect on a little bit more than just come out bing, bang, boom with an answer or a thought or what have you, because then, you know, sometimes I'd like to, you know, just certain topics I like to think about a little bit more and uh, do my best as much as I can. Sometimes it's important that you come out quick with something. It's it's a whole uh, there's no recipe to this game, dude And that's why we like it. It's the wild west with the storytelling pew, pew shooting from the hip sometimes but point that I'm talking about right now is censorship and One of the interesting uh, Stories out there that was you know last week week and a half ish uh, Maybe two weeks now, who knows? Things happen really quick and then they slow down. It's about the, uh, who is it, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell that went out and said, oh, we'll, we'll take down our music or something if uh, Spotify doesn't, I don't know, do something with the Joe Rogan podcast or the, it's like, 
And I had to, I had to, you know, I heard different versions, read different art articles, try to understand everybody's perspective. And this is all about, oh, they're coming and saying, oh, he's uh, spreading misinformation. It's, uh, it's a tricky world out there, man. It is a tricky, tricky world out there. Let's try to fix this camera once again. And it just, to me, I don't understand the whole coming from that censorship aspect or like angle for things um initially when i started this i had my thoughts i had my perceptions now being still very very far away from the industry but looking inwards from the outside and then trying to look at myself and make sense of it all uh, it's it's a, it's the slowest of the trips it's very so much to learn and one of the things that i've learned i guess one of the best ways to even if you don't agree with somebody is just let everybody talk, let everybody, you know, do their little part. And you come out and if you have any points or suggestions, you just state your point of suggestion. But to go after people and cancel people or want to attempt to cancel, especially when you have really no grounds, like you're literally standing on nothing. It's just a matter of who knows what, and that's the thing. And one of these are just opinions based on a little bit of a glimpse of, you know, different compartments of information so I'm trying to put it all together and make sense it just doesn't make sense to me now if there are backstories that I'm not aware of perhaps business interests other interests political beliefs political interests whatever it may be it I, I don't believe in a world of censorship I will always I even if I don't agree with you I will always want you to be able to freely express your thoughts and opinions and that's very important to me because then Otherwise, you'd end up in a place like, you know, North Korea or the Iran or, you know, Saudi Arabia or China or, you know, Russia. They, they, you might just, you know, say something, people don't agree with you in one shape or form, you may get, you know, shut down. Here in Western society, we're very lucky to have certain things. And one of those things is relatively more freedom to at least express yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, your yourself you're allowed to express yourself that is a that, that's of tremendous value and again nothing's perfect there's no I don't believe in absolute freedom I don't think such a thing exists but within a parameter I think we're relatively free out here and to go out <clears throat> especially it's like fellow artists and like entertain entertainers and it just doesn't make sense to me I don't know the actual thought process behind it I don't think I'll ever know but whatever it is I don't think it's a fully thought out process and uh, you know <clears throat> it's it's weird man but that's the thing uh let's let's get let's try to because i've been trying to think about this and you know come up with ways of how do we look at this through a lens of funny through a lens of the ha-has if we can if we may and uh let's uh you know i wrote down a few stuff i'm gonna just uh i'll read it verbatim or maybe I shouldn't read it verbatim maybe I should just you know recollect as much of it as I can and we'll just go along that away yeah I was thinking because here's the thing if we're you know today we're gonna actually you know what segue but not segue related we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a class we're gonna do a class we're gonna teach you how to you know maybe let's see what the outcome of canceling is let's see what it's because some people might not know what it is to cancel or want to go attempt to cancel i think everybody should have you know the chance to say what they want do what they want and express themselves otherwise well let's let's take a canceling class together let's do a, let's do the first official this is the welcome to the seminar this is a this is canceling 101 the council, the council of the cancelled. We're going to teach you how to cancel, and what it means, and what happens in a you know in a hypothetical sitch, you know, because a lot of people might not be born into canceling. You're not, oh, my dad was never teaching me how to cancel. My mom didn't speak cancel. I, uh, you know, I don't know anybody in the industry, is what you might say. But you can always, if, if you truly believe in cancel, you can cancel. And through taking this course, through taking this seminar, you will reach all, uh, by the end of it, you'll start at the first degree. By the end of it, you'll be with the, you, you'll get a certificate. You'll be at the fourth degree level of 
canceled enlightenment. It's it's platinum cancellation at, at its best. And we try to actually give away the whole thing in the beginning. It's some people may be able to grasp the concept. For some, they may actually have to go all the way through the steps one, two, three, and four in order to reach full cancel enlightenment. But you know, in order because that's the thing, the beauty with cancellation of any kind, if you let it just you know continue on and spiral, it eventually comes back to you. So the core message of canceling, if if you're like, man, I don't, I want to start canceling, but I just don't know how, bro. I don't know how. I don't know who. I don't know when. I don't know why. I don't know where. Well, we're gonna go through all these steps and you'll learn that initially it's very easy. Let's let's just begin with, you know, a who. Who can I cancel? You don't know who to cancel. And again, one of the core messages of the first if you can if you can grasp this portion of the cancel, this will just you're gonna be like, you know, you're gonna be Jedi mind tricking yourself into cancellation in no time. And essentially it starts with you. So if you're asking who can I cancel? because the long-term trajectory will come back and you know, you'll know you be you'll be canceling yourself. So if you don't know who to cancel and it's, you're not the type that's, oh, I'm not an extrovert, it's hard for me to go cancel other people, cancel yourself, that's actually true platinum level cancellation, which you just cancel yourself and it's game over. That's, but again, not easily. Some people say, man, you know, I like to meditate and cancel. Some people say they can achieve full cancellation with, meditation others used to you know dabble in a little bit of experimenting with the psychedelics and reach ultimate cancellation on that realm but to each their own never any judgment of course but if you don't know who to cancel you're like man look around you you can cancel you can cancel your moms cancel dads you can cancel grandpas and grandmas and aunts and uncles and friends and family members but again if these are you know you might be maybe everybody's kind of like Living on the online world, everybody's nobody's even close enough for you. That's the thing, you don't even need to get up these days. You can literally cancel, and that's, again, platinum cancel. You're sitting and just trying to cancel. So go ahead, even if you don't have anybody close to you within the proximity, cancel yourself, you'll feel much better. So that's the who portion of it, okay? That's the who portion, because it is a slippery slope. Once you start cancel or attempting to, especially with no grounds, my God, that thing will come back quickly. So we cover the who, the what, what can you cancel? The question is people who work hard, truckers, this, that, and you know, people who support them, great. And it makes sense because there is no, any other way would it make sense for us not to see, and you've seen this happen all over the world in different major cities all around the world. People are getting up, protesting in some shape or form. But these protests are not the, you know, if things were just normal, quote unquote normal, even on un, even under normal circumstances, again, quote unquote, you have civil discontent, you have uprisings, you have protests, yeah, and it's good because people need to get up and have dialogue. People need to get up there and talk to each other, see each other, and people need to be able to again express themselves. I'm a huge advocate of this, but past two years all of the uprisings in whichever form they've come and even the ones prior to that the uprisings civil unrest doesn't just occur you know it, it, it is a response it, it is a reaction these things don't these things are not you don't in my opinion at least i don't think you'd have civil discontent and upheaval and then you'd have a reaction to that there's always something that pushes a group of people, you know, marginalizes a group of people or doesn't pay enough attention to them for whatever reason it may be. And then those groups, if ignored long enough, they will go out and do different things. And there's so many different uh, versions of it that we've seen throughout the globe. So can we say that these upright, and there's so many different aspects of this that I'm trying to digest and make sense of it. I hope it makes sense to you guys. And if it doesn't, bear with me. Hopefully we'll make sense of it together. I hope. Um, so it seems like it's too easy for us to just be like, oh, well, these politicians or whoever else is involved in, you know, the interest groups, the lobbyists, the different factions of it to us. So it's a very complex situation that we're all trying to deal with. So how do we make sense of it all? Um, 
what do people do? Because that, what do I mean? So much of it, I'm trying to just uh, grasp and understand as much. Okay, so you have in society, we'd had, you know, the main narrative, the status quo narrative has been that, you know, go get vaccinated, uh, vaccine passport, this, that, and the other. And I guess everything else has been labeled or mislabeled rather as just anti that it's just become this again it's become a this versus that situation so it's i don't think we should i i you know i don't think we when i see somebody coming on and like you know saying things that they probably know is gonna result in some sort of a reaction i don't think that's due to their stupidity. I don't think they're, they're, that that's an easy answer to say, oh, such and such is just such a dumb guy, man. I can't believe he just said that. What are you looking at? It's, and not to say that they're these incredibly, like as individuals, that they're incredibly super smart or anything like that. First of all, they've got groups of people behind them. That's very clear. Hence the parties and what have you. But I don't think it should be just taken away lightly and just be brushed off as such and such is so stupid. Did you hear what they just said? I think those examples are good to look at because that's exactly what you would do if you were to want somebody to, if you want to get a rise out of somebody, if you want to provoke a reaction, those are exactly the same tactics that you would use. Think about it. It's like even on even on one-on-one -on -one terms, if you if you were to get into beef with somebody, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Dudes know what I'm talking about. Ladies, some ladies might know what I'm talking about. Not all, some. But we've seen it in the world, right? You want to, you know, something's gone down. You're at the bar, or at the club, you're at the library. Something's gone down, right? You need to stand your ground, or it's go time. Okay, go time. But nobody really wants to fight. No one ever really wants to actually get down and dirty unless you want to get down and dirty bro oh say hello to lefty and righty baby just going at it but sometimes you'll see there's different occasions things unravel in different formats but sometimes you want to it starts off by you know do something do so i dare you do something wanting for somebody to throw that first punch because in our you know our the general understanding of the way the way the law works is that wherever is the aggressor is the you know is in fault or and the, that's a whole you don't want to get into fights and what however maybe you do i don't know what kind of life you're living but maybe you do do your thing um but that's exactly the sort of thing that's kind of happening with politics it's provocation and then the laying of the groundworks for and opposition to come in whether organically or unorganically and then later definitely looking for those reactions to pick apart and be like well see this because it's exactly because of this and then you'll have to have more government overreach like again this is the reason why i'm talking about the, this the reason why i was a little bit hesitant to i guess go into a little bit of a detail last week was first of all it's very brand new but it's not brand new new this is not the first time that this sort of thing happens but now it's i guess it's my heart really is again mixed emotions and feelings because at the end of the day i want everybody to be happy do their you know live your best lives and it sucks that it has to come down to these games and the pulls and the pushes it seems like right now the groundwork has just been laid for some sort of an event to go down so that there can be some sort of an intervention more so from the government whether it's you know do we need to now move and you know because i don't know what the game plan and i don't know who is behind this whole movement i looked into it briefly with as much with the tools that i've got which is not much just a laptop and good old google and duck duck go baby so trying to decipher all of this <laughs> and not that i'm you know and again, hopefully inching forward to, together with each other's help because it does a lot of it doesn't make sense. It's uh, it's incredible. But you know, one thing that made me after a few days went by, I looked into it. One thing that's just you know left me a little bit 
the money that's being raised for this movement, the people that are, uh, I believe one of the, maybe the leaders or the, uh, yeah, one of the leaders of the movement is, what's her name? Let me just say her name right, because I don't know who this lady is. Just only bear with me a few seconds here. So if you were to just search the Freedom Convoy 2022, you'd notice that one of the lead figures is Tamara Litch, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mispronouncing her name. She's the Convoy's fundraiser. And I was just thinking, because how do you how do you get all these many different people to come together, leave their jobs, leave them, and of course, sometimes there are those regular people who are literally just going in terms of solidarity, and I'm, I believe in the greater good and all that stuff. But at the same rate, I do. Who's this lady? Who are all the other members? And I noticed that she's somewhat affiliated to the Maverick Party of Canada. And that, I believe, is a uh, separatist group or movement that had roots in Alberta, if I'm not mistaken. Again, trying to take in so much, trying to decipher as much of it. But I'm not saying that this is, but this is exactly what I mean. I'm not saying, this is not just, I guess, it has, so with everything, there's a little bit of, I don't, I don't even know this lady. I don't even know that much of her agenda or her, even if she's really associated to this day with that party or whatever but it's it's just interesting who grabs the money where does all the money go what happens to the rest of the money um because i like to question her i'm not just like i don't go that's exactly what i'm trying to not do i don't just go i don't like to just go in fully oh i'm on board on this thing because no i enjoy civil discourse man i am one few of the things that start to you know pop up and like initially i'm seeing different people some are dancing some are walking there's trucks going coming this that and the other some of the you know things that i see that are not maybe helpful to the overall i guess just people globally country by country just average folks who want to just get their freedoms back things that i don't think are helpful are any sort of you know and whether you want to believe it or not, but I, I don't think that works to anybody's advantage when you have, you know, if anybody's going down there inciting violence, not to say that that's happened, but I'm sure you'll hear, or that's, you know, somebody getting into a fist fight. That could be, it could be as minor as that, not to say that that's minor, but if it happens in there, it happens, right? Uh, or somebody, you know, I, I read or heard something about the Terry Fox statue being, I don't know what happened to it, but things happen at these large gatherings when you get so many people in one location things happen but my concern is that when i see people there's no uh, it's i i just yeah i just don't want it to be i don't know what i want it to i don't even like that's the thing i just uh, i'm not it's hard it's it's once again i find myself in a situation of being in no man's land not with because i don't like it when i see you know despite the fact that i don't agree with a lot of things that trudeau says i don't believe people rolling up with you know fuck trudeau flags will get your cause any further i don't believe in people coming down i saw a little bit of different videos this that and the other somebody like going up on a podium just waving a bible coat in the bible this that and it's like but that's that's exactly why i don't ever i can't like and what do you do what do you do what, what do you what do you guys do i know some people got up and you know some people go join the protest some people in their hearts maybe at home they just felt like oh a little bit of a different 
narrative maybe but it's it's i don't i wonder what the end game of all this is what happens and in different places of the world too but i don't have access to everywhere and the world is too big for anybody to be able to you know so that's we need to come together and really get rid of all the extra noise and try to decipher all of the nonsense that's going on and try to like get a little bit of clarity as much as i don't you know agree with trudeau i don't want anybody ever you know it sucks that he has to get covid now and go into lower that's the you know what i mean it sucks that that's that's what it comes to but again these things it's just a reaction to two years of authoritarianism so i don't agree with the guy but i don't believe and that's the thing when people go out or like a similar event that went down and what was the whole thing i, I never really talked about it the january 6th showdown that went in that went down at the capitol in the u.s and you know it's Here's the thing, some people, you know, and there's a bit of it that, again, some parts of it are probably organic, some parts of it are probably, some say it's controlled opposition. I don't, and like, that's the thing, does any, is there any, could we even have a opposition that is not controlled is what I'm trying to ask? That's, that's when I say I was kind of grappling with those ideas that I like certain things to be as untampered with and as, I guess pure as they can come that's a thing maybe maybe all that is naive maybe that is all naive and uh well spank my ass and call me naive i guess that's uh or something dude i don't know ladies and gentlemen it is all uh my heart is with the people my heart is with just everyday regular canadians who do whatever job it is that they do to provide for themselves and their families that's where i stand i don't like to get under a flag and be like, yes, my group, or left, right, up, down. I, yeah, and what is the, what do you guys think? What do, what do we do? Is this, a, perhaps these are the conversations that we should be having. I don't know, maybe it's a clear evidence that it's just too much power for anybody it's just too much power for anybody in these circumstances just clear as daylight that is too much power and yeah i don't you know people get frustrated and they just you know for four years you go with left or you know and then you'll let four years or eight years sometimes go by and then you get frustrated and you're like oh i've had enough of the left and then you go Oh, my only other option is right, right? So you go right, and then that takes on its course for four to eight years, and then you're like, oh, man, the right, the right sucks. And you shift back all the way to the left, and it's just like, wait, gets a little bit... If I'd like to, if we could get rid of the, if we could work together to get rid of the the level of the charades, the level of the everything has to have a spin, everything has to, you can't just talk to people straight up directly and you have to, if you want something done, you gotta, you know, spin it a different, you know, a million different ways to get public to perhaps do something. And uh, that's, I just think we could all use a little bit more clarity if that's the thing, a little bit more love and compassion. And I'm, I'm trying to work on that myself. And I don't know, come up with better answers, but the none of these, yeah, the fuck Trudeau signs don't help. The taking a Bible in the middle of uh, I, I and I understand it all comes from love and why everybody. That's the thing, and and that's exactly it. Everybody in their heart of hearts, no matter where they stand in life, on whatever topic it is, you think we all do at the time. We think we're making the best decision, even the even you know the stories are you know it's even i don't want to name names but you all know dude like even the worst occurrences people thought they were doing the right things and yeah i just uh wish there was uh so what are the solutions baby the solution is perhaps this is a job made to be maybe it's a job that should be shared maybe it's maybe it shouldn't be that you would have a 
Because that's what I would think makes the me like best sense. Get get different people from all. Because that, politics is a messy, tricky world. You're never gonna get just. You're always gonna so get all the practitioners of politics to work together to come up with the best solutions and different alternative methods that we can tackle circumstances. Because there is no one you can't just. It just doesn't make sense. To have one person and give them all that power and be like, here, what can you cancel? It's what can't you cancel? Really, it's full reverses on that bad boy. But what can't you cancel? Literally everything, if you like, could be canceled. And all it starts is not, don't think it, don't get overwhelmed with the idea of, oh, there's so many things to cancel. I just don't know what to start with. Don't worry about so much of the what. Concentrate on just starting. Because once you start, man, that... Again, full circle, you'll be cat. So again, what, why do I cancel? Cancel yourself first. That's ultimate platinum level cancellation. One on one council of the cancel baby holding meetings every other Wednesday. Let's just, you know, but the, those, if you want to go, it's, I've seen it once it happened back in uh, the Himalayas, this kid, man, master cancel, or he just cancel, he disappear, bro. No joke. He just sat there. He just, Cancel, gone, vanished. Nobody's seen him since. He's been canceled since, was it the summer of 96 or 97? I can't recall at this moment, but wild things happen out there. So we covered the who, what, when. When can you cancel? When can't you cancel is the better question, really. And you don't really hear like average folks going out there just like trying to cancel. It's, it's most of these things come from the media and different, you know, it's a celebrity, it's a corporation, it's big, impactful, visible stories out there. You know, you don't hear a couple of damn raccoons just trying to cancel each other. It's, you know, people out in the streets, we've got real problems. You know, you go do your own thing, man. Go, go mind your own business. If it's not profitable, if it's not making you happy, go venture out, do your own thing. But you're like, man. So we covered a who, what, when. When can you cancel? It's yesterday was already too late. Yesterday was already too late. Today is already probably, you can start now. But again, full cancel, you're gone. You're gone. What? That's exactly the whole point. So we go on, who, what, when, where? Literally, there has never been a better time for cancellations because right now we could cancel remotely, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, you don't even need to go have a, forget about looking somebody in the eye and actually having a conversation with them. You can actually sit but you can go complete incognito if you like and attempt to cancel people. But then again, it's, you're like, man, I don't know who to, I'm, I'm a little bit shy. I don't cancel yourself first. That's again, it might seem small, but it's the biggest move you can make. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Who, what, when, where, why, why should you cancel? And again, I'd like to reframe that question and come back and say, why not? Why not? Because if everything, if you start canceling this, that, and the other, eventually there is nothing to cancel and the whole cancel cancels itself out. That's canceled squared. Or essentially you'll see that cancel come back at, uh, you know, it's right behind you. Where is it? It was right in front of me. Now it's, it's you're up. You're canceled. Why? Because that's the way it works. It doesn't stop. There's no, there's no stopping it. Unless there is something significant that somebody's done and for that, let the, you know, let a court system handle that. Let the law handle that. Other than that, if you're just like, ah, oh, I don't like what he said, it's mis. All information could be misinformation, depending on which way are your views skewed to. Are you leaning this way? Are you leaning that way? What do you believe in? How much of it do you believe in? Sirens are rolling off in the background. Get there safe. Ambulance with probably a patient. That's fellow Canadians, baby, helping each other out. Teamwork, baby, teamwork. Because if somebody's not having a good day, well, that's fantastic because others can take care of them. And that's together we can have a great day. You know, somebody might not, have, not be having the best day, but together others come together all of a sudden. Look, look at that. We're... I don't know where I was going with that. Together, we're, we're tight like this. That's what I was trying to say, man. So I, I, you know, I read that, heard that, had to digest, and I'm like, why? Why is this? And this keeps 
I kept have it's been getting better there are less and and I've I've learned quite a bit myself you know it's uh, one thing that I've learned is don't judge a situation too quickly don't especially if it involves individuals and topics that we're never going to be 100% you know privy to all the facts and information so that's one thing that I've learned and I hope to make that better and moving along give people the benefit of the doubt second of all the truth always almost always most of the time comes out so that's what it is and I, I don't want you know and you got to put everything on the nobody's perfect man and it's just it's it's just uh, a little bit weird for me when people who've already like you know you've been around you've made your money you've been given the chance to come on this wonderful planet do what you love make money make friends support yourself your family and then what I, I don't get the going after people I just, I just don't get it I just don't get it even yeah like I said man, even if I don't agree with you I'd like to you to be able to express yourself because uh, censorship and cancellations are but that's the thing I think they're falling flat on their faces these attempts and it, uh, um is it you know it's a tricky space it's a tricky space that's the thing like especially with, but like with just makes me think just makes me think because uh, yeah it's so easy to just be like oh these are my set of beliefs and I believe this and anything against that is must be wrong and I try to check myself on that as much as I can as well and be like hey man you need to you need to be a little bit more skeptical you need to be a little bit more and I'm always trying to do that bear with me a few seconds something's running out of juice gotta plug it in for the video to keep on rocking and rolling hey 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 Hey, 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 hey,
game plan of what's happening right now initially and again this is part of the learning process certain things happen they happen very quickly it's so difficult for all of us to be able to see things grasp things digest them make sense of them you know take away the the noise and just try to be able to look at what's the actual factual events that are happening and I'm learning that's all I can say I'm learning and I don't you know I don't believe in I'm not a dogmatic person I'm not a you know I'm not a stubborn person in that sense that I like to hold on to things just because and I'm always in my mind I'm always like traditionally I've always been the type to just uh, question what's the prominent frame of thought or I guess maybe quote unquote the status quo but not to say to an extent that I'll always just go against the status quo because there are aspects of the status quo that I fucking love like the society that we live in a parts of that are parts of the status quo which is wonderful so not to say that I'm always like oh but always just trying to question things as much as I can so that I again because it's it's not easy to just you can't just read something or view something and be like well that's that's the facts that's what it is to or see something and be like well that's that's what it is there's so much whether that's beneficial or disadvantageous I don't know but it's a reality it doesn't come through the form of just here's an answer for you you got to look at things and try to comprehend it and see it from all angles and initially when this whole thing started out because there was little to no talk about it on any major media outlets initially i just saw a few bunch of videos of independent people they're not necessarily even journalists but just maybe people on the ground level on the floor on the in the basement in the trenches doing the you know cameras with the video footage and you get to see what's happening initially you know because i like many of you guys have been cooped up for a good two years now not really able to go out there and do many things that i like a lot of you know just even everything all of us have been impacted in different ways right i don't need to go over this this is not new point being when i see something that happens kind of quickly kind of seems like oh maybe there is is there a hint of a different tune that somebody else or maybe a group of people might be you know trying to get a little bit of momentum behind what is it the whole time for the past two years we've not as individuals as a society talking about Canada right now many other places in the world can probably relate to this again to different degrees but there's just one main sort of narrative and it's been very divisive it's been between the you know the, the are you pro vaccine or are you against vaccine even if the debate is not or should not be held with the focal point being the vaccines itself it's uh, far greater than that and I think again these are probably buzzwords these are trigger words these are probably just you know divisive rhetoric tossed at people so that people can grab onto and start fighting amongst themselves and each other and that's no bueno so after two years I guess when I started to in the last week see something unravel let's come into shape into something it gave me a little and especially yeah I'm not gonna lie some days it's uh you do wonder when are we gonna get to some sort of a resolution when are we gonna move on when are we gonna when are things gonna change and when you do see something it might excite you i know i'm easily excited dude i'll see you know you know me dog i'll see flowers i'll get excited i'll see a puppy i'll get excited you give me ice cream you give me a nutella bagel makes me excited dog so that's that's your boy i just you know a cup of coffee will fucking make my day that's the type of person I am. I get happy about the little things. So it's the little things that I appreciate, but the big things that might be big things, who knows, that occur and happen get me really excited as well, especially if there might be a little bit of a glimpse of hope or just an alternative maybe discourse if we can't even have one at this point. But I'm always at deep down inside, even even the good things that are about, even, even when I was a kid, I'm still, I was like that as a young kid, teenager, young adulthood, now you know at this stage in life i'm always in the back of my mind i'm always a little bit skeptical about everything but i've tried to balance that out because again when i was younger it may have it may i don't i, I don't ever want to like just be completely 
maybe this is a little bit naive nowadays, but I've realized it's better to be hopeful and optimistic and believe in the greater good of all of us from all different sides, all different backgrounds coming together, working together. That's what I've uh, learned to believe up until this point and I'm trying to, you know, build on top of that bad boy. Good solid foundation, baby. Love. And there's always, regardless of how much, you know, how much optimism and how much, you know, hope I have there, it's always good to remain a little bit skeptical. And initially it was, I guess, too small or I, it wasn't even enough information for me to be able to clearly see what's happening. And I can't even say that I'm clearly able to see what's happening right now. It's a weird thing because my... Uh, understanding of things in terms of society, groups of people, politics, movements, uh, groups that form these things, uh, from my understanding, they don't just happen out of the blue without nothing. You know, it's hard to get people to unite behind things. It's hard to get people behind anything. But it's hard and it's not it's both easy and it's not so easy so what I'm trying to say is that when things happen and occur there's a part of me that likes to believe in yes spontaneous moments of unification of beautiful human beings who don't care about the, the politics of it who don't care about the the names and the agendas and the slogans who just want their basic freedoms intact who, who just believe in you know be good to yourself and others, the simple things, love, love yourself, love your neighbor, all that jazz. But, uh, you know, movements, when they come about, there's always, whether they're some, not to say that not, it's, I, I don't know, I guess maybe to a certain degree, some movements can occur, quote unquote, naturally or organically, as in whatever the, those terms mean. Um, but some things that just happen or seem to happen, and I'm not saying this is the case, I'm not saying this is not the case either. I just like things when they are as untampered with as possible, if that makes any sense. And saying that with the understanding that almost everything that we live in, our, that we experience in this world that we live in is always almost tampered with to a degree. There is no sort of a, oh, here's this thing just pure whatever it is it's always mixed with this and that but overall the past I guess uh, week and initially I got kind of excited because I'm like yes it seems like just you know common folk there's 40 million people or there is 350 bill or there's a billion people that you're gonna have to tell what to do and it's again it's that whole notion but that's the thing i got hope in us i got i believe in us despite the fact that it might seem like oh it's too crazy for us to handle where do we i think it starts with us whether it's listening or talking and learning and uh, learning our own from learning from our own mistakes and knowing that we're always every like you cannot and that's the thing that i don't ever see in politics anybody actually coming up and owning up to any mistakes that they've and it's okay you'll be you're human, it's completely fine. You make mistakes, it's, everybody does. I make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. So that's, but that's one thing in one, you know, in every industry you'll hear people at one point or another, they make mistakes. They, you never hear a politician come and say, you know what guys, I think I made a mistake, but I was doing it because of this, that and the other, but now we can change things and move forward. No, it's always gotta be trickery, mind games, charades and, facades as if to you know put on a put on a show tell people that this is how it's going down and then pretend that that is exactly what is going down when in fact a lot of it is just like how much how much more do we need to get a glimpse into the whole charade to realize that it's a charade? and i think we've come to that point i think globally we've really come to that point but that's the thing i don't think don't just go into you know events and like oh let's revolve revolution if you're going in there with that kind of mindset like you're oh like just just don't just don't because that type of stuff is no 
just it's idiotic it's not well thought out you know the same example that went down in january 6 when you have people going into what what is your what what is your end game what is your plan to go there and i'm not saying and that's the thing those again some people say some of it was you know that og natural kush some people say it was pharmaceutical dude some people say that it was you know do you have you know do you have any speculations you know are there any agent provocateurs are there any again the opposition being controlled to what extent these are all questions that we should all be asking and not being and i'm, I'm learning dude and it's it's a lot it is a lot to take in and just trying to make sense of it all with the good boys and girls with the ladies and gentlemen yeah, who knows what's what, dude. I just, you know, at the end of it, I see things like you guys, but I'm just wondering, is it controlled opposition? Is it a PSYOP? Is it, you know, could this, you know, because if any, uh, what, yeah, what, what will happen? The protesters, once, you know, because Trudeau, I believe he's got the, came out and I think he said he's got the Schmovis, so he's going to be in quarantine, so he's not going to be there in parliament i guess but he still can do work from home like many others and that's that's the story that gets you know and you're you're supposed to be like okay yes yeah, sure and even if he was there what, what what are we trying to achieve together what are we trying to what's the government trying to achieve what's the opposition parties trying to achieve what are the people trying to achieve what can we find some sort of a middle ground some medium happy where everybody you know you win some the people win some everybody wins a little bit and everybody's but it it's been two years and it's been you know again this is just this current reality right but the overall global way of running things it just always seems like a small portion of the people are winning the rest of the majority of the public are just scrambling by trying to you know find a little bit of this a little bit of that and then boom five ten years goes by another some sort of a upheaval what do you guys think what do you think is the what are some feasible solutions what are things that we could do i think again as cheesy as it may sound dude call me gouda i think it's love and listening and talking and you know having a having food sit down drink break bread make eye contact because otherwise we might as well have robots in place running the show and just giving us the orders and us just or, or something I don't know I don't know boys and girls I feel good I'm glad that I got that off my chest and I will be back here again on Wednesday and Friday as per usual and we always mix it up you know one day it's about sports one day it's about the schmolitics one day it's about the nothing one day it's about everything and I try to make sense of it with the help of you guys thank you very much I am an independent storyteller wannabe comic hopefully down the line when things open up um thank you for all the love and support if you're a long time listener and viewer and let me be a part of your journey and you're being a part of mine i really appreciate that if you're a newbie thank you very much you can watch these videos again on youtube on the instagram on patreon if you want to support your boy fiscally go down there and give it a pump and that's it baby i'll be back here again on wednesday and friday Keep it loose, baby. Keep it loose. Have fun. Stay safe out there wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Be careful. Whatever you're doing, be careful. All of you. But just, you know, let's let's fucking have fun, baby. Let's, in a safe, peaceful manner. Can we just, we can do it. I believe in us, baby. We can do it. Go get it out there. I'll talk to you all very soon. Peace out.